hang on a second this is a long game and so uh, what happens is with fraps my audio gets not synced with my video after a while so there's the sacrifice um, okay, hang on a second Okay, we're back, and uh, you missed nothing. The uh, Brook just killed the Slipped, so now he's going to use North Thief, steal 15 of Dagda's Nora. We've got Balefire Knight coming in, another Vossir Reaver. Contest, you fool. Contest. Okay. Another Spitter, a Rook. Oh, man. Dagda's just screwed now. Um, if he had contested with Black Hand, though, it would have been even better. I guess he means Rook. Hell for me isn't the uh, brightest bulb in the light bulb shot. <laughs> so uh, Dagda moving in for Rook. Wait, he said that should have worked. I know I didn't. I didn't think it was gonna work, but I mean, okay, it manic activates at the end of the turn. So then technically Perseverance should have activated and then at the beginning of the turn Aura should have killed it. But I Okay, this is like this is where a lot of the confusion and complications in Poxnora occur. And I wish there was an easy solution, but there's not that I can think of. Um there's end of turn uh abilities and uh, mechanics and there's beginning of turn so when you've got something like aura which uh, activates at the beginning of turn and then manic at the end of turn and perseverance that activates immediately uh, you have this weird like you know manic activates at the end of the turn then perseverance activates in like at the beginning of the next turn because the turns over and then aura doesn't kill the perseverance champion so you got weird stuff like that in there. And uh, Riverath just going to run away with this now, I think. He's going to cliff that uh, cultist with Possess. Bloop. Bloop. He's going to get off a free uh, magical bomb first, though. Before killing himself. And, uh... So, yeah. Uh, I mean, honestly, they could make that clearer because uh, it's really not clear at this point. Because um, there's a reverberating blast on Spark Crone and Kanan Howler. So uh, that happened because of uh, Designate Scapegoat. But uh, that works out. Um, he was probably trying to stun the crone in the Kirgana. Kirgana. And so, uh, Bakken Force is going to move in and uh, kill some stuff. <laughs> Riv can still swoop with Balefire Knight if he wants to get a quest kill. So Pillager and Scavenger both die from punishing Aura. Howler and Crone are stunned, so Dagda has three champs left to deal with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Riv forgot to move his uh, black hand. <laughs> um, that's okay, he doesn't really need to. He's winning uh, you know, eight to three right now. He's got three to one font. Okay, so there's a Draconic Benediction from Dagdapede. Who knows what's going to happen now. Neuromancer's dead. One attack from Spark Crone, and then he's uh, shocked. Uh, cultist. And uh, Kirgana attacking Bach Enforcer. One more hit. Oh. oh, he attacked twice. Ooh, three HP. Still alive. 
tracker. I forgot that tracker was out. Um, so Dagda kills two champions, kind of evens it up. Forgot he had tracker, so that's actually one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they're even on champions, but uh, Riv still has the uh, positional advantage. Damn, this is a long game. <laughs> Neuromancers. Let me just say this before he dies. I hate Neuromancers. Hate them. Hate them. And so I'm glad to see this one die. So, Balefire Knight gets hit by the boulder. He's totally going to quest kill that uh, Kanan Tracker. And uh, quest kill enemy. When he destroys a champion, he loses that ability, gains 3 damage, 1 defense, and is fully healed. I've gotten off some pretty uh, epic quest kills in my time. It's a very good ability. And uh, Balefire Knight didn't used to have it, but then they gave it to him once they released all the other knights. Um, because they all had quest kill enemy. Uh, and so then they went back and they buffed, you know, Basilisk Templar and, uh, wait, is that Votave's Grasp? So Riverath runs Votave's Grasp. Interesting. Reverberating Blast hitting the right champions this time. Although it was probably still, you know, doesn't get scope gate. Yet. Uh, let's get, let's get go. Scope gate. Uh, <laughs> Votave's Grasp. Basically, when he dies, uh, a copy is summoned under your control and the closest friendly deployment zone with short-lived one in initiative two. Now, Votate's Grasp used to be crazy because it would actually, once you killed it, it would spawn under your control with initiative one at the spot where it died. And so, it was, it was amazing. I miss it. I wish it would come back. It was a great spell. And then uh, they changed it. I'm surprised Riverath is running it. I think it's not very good now. And uh, what's funny is that, oh, uh, man, who was it? Oh, Foolish WTF. I remember he said, he said that they buffed it. That they buffed Votave's Grasp uh, when they made that change. Because it gives initiative two and it gives it a point. And I was like, are you kidding me? And then he was like, blah, and he made some rude comment. Well, yeah, he was laughing now. That's right. Because I was right. Because nobody runs it because they think it's shit. And everyone thinks you're an idiot. I don't know who he is. I don't know, I don't know where he went now. Uh, anyway. So, uh, Spark Crone. Charred. Not dead yet. And, uh, Balefire Knight did get the quest kill. So he was healed to full. Has three defense. 18 damage now. Dagdapede trying to make something happen. Of course, uh, Riverath has Votave's Grasp on Spark Crone, so whenever Spark Crone dies, she'll come out and a static greeting will happen, so all of Dagdapede's champions will become uh, both shocked and cursed. Balefire Knight with uh, Mark of Kirgana. So now uh, Dagdapede just beating the crap out of it with his champions. Still not dead. Lives by 1 HP. Wow. So, uh, Crone dies. Blackguard kills Spark Crone. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, he can't kill Spark Crone. So, uh, Argal is gonna kill Spark Crone. Spark Crone has minus 7 defense. That sucks. Your life is terrible. Kill it, man. Kill it. Kill it with a drive. Oh, that'd be funny. Move Nefri Messenger and drive it for the kill. So, uh, I'm not really sure. I guess Rivath is going to kill it with ping, huh? From uh, Shardseer Argo. So Howler dies. No big loss. <laughs> and uh, Retribution on Balefire Knight. Kanan Cultist has 2 HP. He's gonna get an attack off with Messenger. Mm. 
Or just drive. That would be smarter. I always forget that you can do that. Block Harbor Spitter jumping in, probably going to contest. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, River Rath's basically got this one. And, uh... He's going to kill uh, Spark Crone with Psychic Ping, which means, actually, because of short-lived, that he'll get uh, Spark Crone for an additional turn. Spark Crone has a... So, and of course, he, he maximizes his AP with her, too. So Dagda has one Kirgana. Surprised that she's lived this long. She does have life siphon though. Right, right, right. Yeah. That's it. Attacking Bonk Upper Blackguard and uh, paralyzing him with paralytic feedback. Attacking him again. So Ah, uh, and then the Echo Chamber. He really wanted to kill that black hand. I, have I been calling him the Blackguard? Oh god, that's embarrassing. So now River Rath is just gonna win. Don't know why Dagdapede hasn't surrendered yet. Guess he's being a turd. As usual. Being a fatty. Unstoppable. Hold the line. Boom. And so flanking activates. 25 damage. Ooh. Flanking is uh, whenever he attacks something. He has plus five damage to that attack if the target is engaged with their champion. Which, uh, Kirgana was engaged with, uh, Messenger. And, uh, Bog Harbor Spitter attacks the War Banner. Just kidding. <laughs> the War Banner has immunity poison. Bog Harbor Spitter moving in for the Shrine Rush. That was another joke. Immunity poison. Um, so, there's a Nora Thief, two, Nor two Marsh songs. How much Nora is he getting now? Ooh, Fire Blast <laughs> and the War Banner. Um, River Wrath trying to intimidate Dagda into surrendering. So, let's see. 45, 57, 69, 81, 84. 104 Nora per turn. So Dagda transfigures, refusing to go down without a fight. You know, that would be noble if this was actual war, but since Nora, it's just douchebaggery. It's like everybody wants you to just surrender. Anyone still here? I guess I gotta see the match out, yeah. Just in case something crazy happens, like he has an Ember Wasp over here and he Borgas, Exile, Borgas, Fire Blast. Hippo party. For no reason. Okay. River Wrath casts a uh, Hippo Stampede. Let's watch it, let's watch it. Where is it? Where is it? No, no. River Wrath shouts, Hippopotamuses! There needs to be an exclamation mark into that. Oh, God! Lightning storm.